Саша. Hi, my name is Oksana. I work here in the Way Home, a wonderful charity and orphanage in Odessa, Ukraine. The Berlin Wall fell 20 years ago, but there is still ongoing economic crisis and tremendous poverty in Ukraine. Many families don't have access to kindergarten garden or daycare center, and many children are, are neglected uh, altogether. Uh, your gift to the Smile Center will help uh, beautiful children get the care attention they need to grow up uh, happy and healthy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Еще раз всем на три четыре. Я посчитаю. Правильно на три четыре. Три четыре. Thank you. Thank you. Can you just explain um, how the idea for this came about? We work with uh, drug users and uh, actually positive people. And m many of them uh, uh, have very poor families, especially uh, people who do drugs. They all day, all the day long, they are busy with um, running for drugs looking for drugs and uh, their children uh, compl are completely uh, neglected, abandoned. Many of them uh, even cannot speak uh, at uh, age uh, four, three, five years. And uh, for us, uh, when we, when we um, uh, came to these families, we were just terrified with what we saw. Uh, sometimes uh, parents uh, uh, trying to protect their children from, from uh, being hurt or uh, from damages. Uh, they tie children to beds for the, for the whole day and leave them um, uh, undernourished. So, uh, we decided to start this uh, uh, kind of kindergarten for children of such families. And uh, the result was extremely, extremely positive. Uh, uh, at the beginning, many of these children were very aggressive, very tight, uh, cautious. But then, uh, in a few months, they started speaking normally, they communicate with other children, they, uh, their results, uh, their mental skills and uh, speaking skills improved dramatically. So we uh, found that uh, this project is very, very successful. How many families have you helped with this? Kindergarten. Um, we <coughs> started this project in different places. Uh, at the beginning, we covered uh, in a small district uh, uh, in the south of Odessa. Of Odessa. Then uh, moved. Uh, then moved to central part here, and um, uh, we're going to start new project at uh, in the north. So, uh, more than a few hundreds of people uh, have become our clients during previous uh, few years. A hundred families about. Yeah. With soon to be three centers. Yeah. And does it, uh, does it cost the families anything? It costs. <laughs> Uh, for families, yes. For families, it cost their participation, their willingness to do the work together with their children. 
to to learn how to communicate with children. So it 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 it, it requires uh, some energy from them, some willingness, uh, some uh, devotion <laughs> to their children. But no money. But no money. Well, where do you get the money for this? Um, we try to get money from local local companies. Um, sometimes we are successful, sometimes not. Uh, we try to uh, persuade um, uh, um, donors organizations, and we sometimes we are really uh, successful. Like uh, Childhood Foundation, they uh, helped us a lot, and the Caritas Foundation, they helped us a lot. Uh, at the moment, we try. Uh, we we are working with uh, UNICEF and uh, with different different institutions. Uh, but uh, you know, the demand on our services is very very uh, big. So uh, the more projects like this we start, the more families we can help out. Okay. So, um, how much does it cost to? help one child per year with this kind of this kind of program it's not so you know it, it is not um, that much expensive but but uh, it, it costs money sure uh, uh, every child per year cost us five hundred dollars or out so five hundred dollars can help a child from a drug addicted family get in normal education yeah do do parents have access to regular kindergarten here in Odessa? no for them it's impossible why uh because um we, are, we have a, a big lack of uh places like this in, in odessa uh even uh from even 2000 children from regular families um uh, have no access to um, uh, this service, to kindergartens. Uh, even in one district of Odessa, 2,000. And we can say about uh, many, many thousands in the whole city. What, why is this? Why doesn't the government provide kindergarten? I don't know. Because uh, for me, it's, uh, they usually uh, say that the um, uh, city doesn't have enough money. And um, uh, in Soviet Union, we had um, uh, kindergartens that belonged to some enterprises, like uh, Port. Port ha had a few kindergartens for uh, their workers. Um, big uh, plants had their own kindergartens for the workers of uh, their enterprises. But um, uh, after collapse of Soviet Union, many of these enterprises uh, went out of business. Um now uh city doesn't have it doesn't have enough kindergartens yeah, enough yes so you think there's thousands of children that need kindergarten but yeah. but can't get it in Odessa yeah. Do you have just uh normal children in the kindergarten as, as well from normal families Yes yeah, sometimes sometimes we have uh, it's uh, very important to, meet, uh, to, to have um, children from normal families because many children, <coughs> uh, this integration of um, uh, like sound children from sound families helps uh, the other children to, to adopt themselves to normal society. His name is Vasily. New He has no registration in Odessa. Uh, he is registered uh, in about 200 kilometers from here. It is problem. I can That's why kindergartens they refuse to take a child. Ah, so the kindergartens in Odessa refuse to take her. Mm -hmm because uh, he is not registered in Odessa. I see. Why didn't he just stay where he was originally from? There is no work there. 
Там же развалились колхозы, совхозы, вот это все развалилось там. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, the infrastructure also collapsed, so there is no chance of getting a good work there. А куда деваться? Пришлось бы дома держать его. So uh, the only option for child was to stay at home if he had no opportunity to bring the child here. What would, what would Nastya be doing if she were at home? Чем бы Настя дома занималась, если бы... Ну, чем бы дома занималась? Телевизор, компьютер, игрушки. Все. ТВ, компьютер и toys. Тут вот она с детьми общается, ну, при, приблизительно возраст там с собой. А, Василий uh, is always making a concept of communication, because uh, he sees many, many people here, and it's uh, very good and much easier for a child to integrate in society by communicating with other children because uh, it's very hard for uh, kids to grow up in a kind of loneliness and surrounded by toys but no people. So he says they need communication, they need friendship. Не знаю, но мы довольны вот этим садиком, довольны персоналом вот этим. Я не знаю, как дальше еще сказать. Я, я вообще не оратор, бля. Но, по крайней мере, никто не обидел. Ребенка тут. То и то за парк водил, была там Игорь, как ее звали тогда. Recently they were taken to the zoo, he said. То сейчас и то в дефинаре отводили, ну как, ну довольны. So many many activities and child is very happy because every day brings something new. Спасибо таким людям, которые сделали вот это. So he is grateful to all the people who are working and who made, who built this orphanage. Hi, I'm Alina. I'm a teacher at The Way Home. You give with the wonderful help. I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs>